Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Jimmy here with One Road. Today, we're not only changing the oil in my 2003 Chevrolet Suburban, but we're also gonna be talking about magnets on your oil filter. Should you do it? <laughs> I recently put out a video called the most important part of an oil change. At this point, that video has over 500,000 views, which is excellent for the size of my channel. I'm actually really, really happy about that video. And that's why I wanted to talk about this subject again, because shortly after I put that video out, a pretty well-known YouTuber by the name of Scotty Kilmer and Scotty don't kill me. He put out a video that talked about how magnets on oil filters was snake oil and it's a myth and you know did a whole history lesson about how cars never used to have oil filters. But guess what? Now they do. Would you run your car these days without an oil filter? Absolutely not. You would not. Why? Because we developed scientifically a way to filter our oil. Now, one of my other arguments is the simple fact that most manufacturers are putting magnetic oil drain plugs and other magnetic parts, whether it be on the transmission or back in the rear end. They all have magnets there to catch ferrous material floating around in the oil. So, that being said, on to my point. When you can buy rare earth magnets for just a couple of dollars that are completely and totally reusable, that stick perfectly fine to the side of a metallic magnetic oil filter, why wouldn't you use that extra insurance? Now, in my last video, a lot of people were commenting and saying things like, oh, most motors nowadays are made of aluminum and there's no ferrous material floating around. Well, guys, I have news for you. Even if the block is aluminum, there are iron sleeves in there. Iron is magnetic. There is a lot of ferrous material floating around in that oil. What do you think the oil filter is catching? So my point is for just a few dollars, you can buy a little more insurance and it's as simple as slapping those suckers on the side of your oil filter. Okay. Okay. For the sake of argument, let's say you're right. The magnets do absolutely nothing. What's the worst thing that happened there? You spent two and a half dollars on a set of magnets that took you absolutely no time to install and had no effect, no harm, no foul. What's the best thing that can happen? Well, those magnets could end up catching absolutely minute particles that may not be caught by the oil filter, thereby prolonging the life of your motor, and it only cost you a couple dollars and took you 10 seconds to slap those suckers on the side of your oil filter. I don't know, to me it makes complete common sense. Why wouldn't you do it? The manufacturers are doing it on their drain plugs. I'm also gonna add those magnets to my oil filter. It just makes sense. Why don't we talk about these magnets for a second? Uh, I bought them at Harbor Freight. They were just two and a half dollars and there's 10 of them. They come in this little safety bottle with actually a child lock on it because these magnets are actually very dangerous for kids to play with. So do not let your kids get anywhere near these things. They are extremely strong rare earth magnets and uh, they are light and tiny, which means they most likely will not fall off in the course of driving, you know, hitting bumps and potholes and all that good stuff. All right. Right, well, enough about those magnets. I'm going to go ahead and change the oil. Okay. All right. So first step is going to be to take your oil cap off here. This helps the oil to flow when you're draining it. Then we are going to jack the car up just a little bit so I can fit under there better. And don't forget your jack stand. And with the vehicle safely supported on jack stands, we're gonna take our correct size ratchet. We have our bucket under here and we are going to simply loosen our drain plug and get this thing to drain. You might be able to tell here, I actually do have another magnet, another rare earth magnet on the end of my drain plug here. Even though this drain plug was already magnetic, I just didn't feel that it was as magnetic as it could be. So I stuck that there to hopefully magnetize the entire drain plug itself. But then again, you can see my point with the already magnetized drain plug. And there goes the oil right down the drain. The oil is almost completely drained out. And now we're going to work on getting our oil filter out. And I'm going to be using this tool here, this oil filter wrench, because that sucker's on there. Twisting this baby off and hopefully not spill it all over myself. Okay, 
I'm going to take a dab of this old oil and just rub it around the gasket here just to give it a little bit of lubrication while I screw it on. We're also going to check and make sure our old gasket is still on our old filter, in which it is. And here's our new filter with all of our magnets. We're just going to screw this puppy up there. Now, for the sake of this video, I've already installed the magnets, but obviously you could install these afterward just to make your life a little easier. I would actually suggest that you do that. I'm going to go ahead and wipe off now the end of my drain plug. Get any of that metal off of the magnetic tip there. Drain plug is nice and clean, so we're going to go ahead and install that. All right, just go ahead and clean up your mess and the bottom is all buttoned up. This motor is the Vortec 5.3, which takes six quarts of oil. So I got six quarts of this Mobile One 5W30. There we go. Drink that up. All right, looks like we're all buttoned up. Go ahead and put my oil fill cap back on. Okay, so the oil change is done. I have all of the new Mobile One fully synthetic 5W30 in the motor, as well as that AC Delco OEM PF46 oil filter screwed onto the motor, covered in those 10 little rare earth magnets. Now let's just talk about this for one more minute here. Are magnets necessary? Absolutely not. Do they help? They couldn't hurt. What could it possibly hurt to have those magnets on the outside of the filter? The only thing it could do is help. And if you can filter out minute particles of ferrous material that the filter media otherwise might not catch, why wouldn't you wanna do that? I'm gonna go ahead and give this car a start and we'll listen to how she runs. All right, here goes nothing. Oh yeah, listen to the kitten purr. The truck is running great. Those magnets are working excellent. Kidney liver and bladder remedy snake oil. What am I just <laughs> Snake oil. Okay, Scotty Kilmer is awesome. Don't get me wrong guys, I follow his channel. I'm a subscriber. I really like the guy, his channel's huge. Anyways guys, I'm gonna sign out. That's my two cents on magnets and oil filters yet again. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out my Instagram page. It's at One Road Garage. Also check out my website, www.oneroadgarage.com and definitely subscribe to this channel because I'm not a one trick pony. I got lots and lots of great content out there. Go check it out, come on, I'll go with you.